Hello, Pisces. Happy August 2017 for all the moon people. Full moon is on the 7th of August, and it's in Capricorn, and the new moon is the 21st, and it's in Leo. Okay, so let's get this reading going. I'm pulling nine cards from my Lily Sky Tarot deck. Then for a one-card pull for love reading, it's going to be from this Psychic Tarot Heart deck. And I think I featured this one on my channel before. But yeah, so let's check it out. Oh, okay, so just so you see it, the Nine of Coins and the King of Swords just dropped out. Okay, just so you see that, in case you want to look that up. All right, so let's get to reading. So the first card is the Hermit. The next is the Eight of Coins. Uh-oh, the Devil card. Three of Staves. Five of Coins. Ten of Staves. Let's move these babies up. Three of Coins, yeah? We have Nine of Swords. And we have King of Coins. So the Hermit is all about studying right um getting more knowledge getting more information and i feel like this is needed right now right because we have the eight of coins which is the eight of coins represents studying and and learning and building up more knowledge of what you already know so this is definitely a reading of gaining more knowledge more information okay pisces then we have the devil card and the Devil card is one of those card decks or cards in the deck that people are like, I don't want to get the trouble, the, the Devil card or the Ten of Swords, which is the stabbing in the back or any, um, or the, the heart one with the, the Three of Swords, right? I remember those ones as cards that no one wanted to get. And the thing is that they have different meanings right it doesn't always have to mean um death or or the actual devil devil can actually mean the negative side of you or or anger that has built up or addiction or depression right so with the five of coins here you know it could be something you're addicted to something that makes you depressed because you also have the nine of swords right here right so what does the devil card represent to you we have the Hermit Major Arcana, the Devil is a Major Arcana. Those are your two Major Arcanas. The Hermit is saying, time to be alone, quiet time, study. We have the Eight of Coins reminding you of um, your, your skills, right? Earning, learning more. You know, this card could represent anything that, it could be violence, it could be abuse, hopelessness, feeling powerless feeling like you're, you're tied up in bondage. Uh, it could be mental health, mental health, depression, addiction, right? So what are you going through right now? What does that represent for you as this is a general reading, right? What does this represent for you? You have the eight of coins again that is, is like, new work so maybe you're studying for a new job a new employment right then we have the three of staves so with this time to study to to new job maybe there's some kind of addiction maybe there's some kind of um feeling trapped maybe in the new work that you have or having some kind of issue where you don't know if you should confront it or or uh, wait for things to kind of come towards you. Either way, the five of pentacles or five of coins here is saying that you're, you are without something, okay? What are you without? How does this apply to you? Right, so it's a temporary situation where you're at a loss mentally or, or or financially at a loss. 
some kind of hardship, some kind of negative change. Okay, maybe you're not working at the place that you worked at because there's some kind of negativity that happened. Maybe there's no clarity with the, with the three of staves. Now, the ten of staves is saying overburdened, feeling like you're doing too much. Maybe you're extra hard on yourself. Maybe you're overcompensating, right? Then again, here comes work again. So maybe you've gained employment again or... or um, you're being you're more successful now the five of coins is just temporary here's the three of coins saying okay there's a trinity here there's there's a flow of things coming coming in now we have the nine of swords maybe you're still having let go of the past experience right and the nine of of swords is like the, not only are you physically <clears throat> feeling the way you are but your your mind the things that you're saying to yourself the fear you know anxiety extra stress maybe negativity that you're experiencing right maybe feeling overwhelmed so it's like it seems like it's like an up and down pisces like a, a definite up and down energy it's like things are good and then it's like really really bad so it's like a lot of up and down And now we have the coins coming in, right? So the pentacle. So now we have a masculine energy, the king, which is like, okay, you've learned from everything that you've gone through. And you felt like you've matured. You feel like you've learned something. You feel like you've, you've, you've succeeded over the hurdles, right? I like that. Right? So try not to be so hard on yourself, especially me looking at the, the uh, ten of, of uh, staves. And it's funny, I mentioned it in one of the other videos. So um, Pisces, if you have a rising sign, I think I mentioned it in Capricorn or Aquarius video. Because, yeah, I mentioned it in those, one of those videos. And it's like that feeling of, of being up and down, feeling like when is things going to work out a little bit better, you know, even a little bit different. So everything takes time, right? Here we go. So let's see what the love card is. Give some love. And the love card doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could just be a message of self-love that will help, you know, forge uh, a better relationship that's romantic or with uh, other um, healthy relationships. So let's see. All right. Yay. No way. Coming together. Get out. I just did this. I just did this one for Aquarius. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. Only twice has this card popped up. So if you're on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces, I, I believe um, it's that one. So coming together. 99. It represents the cups. Okay. So, yeah, let's see, harmony, romance, healing, commitment. This card is a partnership, this card, this is a card of partnership and harmony. It suggests a new romance or a deepening of an existing one. You may find that a current friendship blossoms into something more or an exciting new love steps into your life. When this card appears, it signifies taking love to a new level. Is it time for you to make a greater commitment to any of your relationships? Perhaps you'll find that a partner is now ready to commit more fully to the relationship. 
marriage or a union of some kind may be on the horizon. This is also a card of healing, of people coming together in a spirit of love and forgiveness. Are you involved in any relationships where misunderstanding or disputes have placed distance between you? Perhaps it's time to bring harmony back to those relationships by calling a truce and starting over again. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. And let's see, this card doesn't have a, it just stands alone. Because some of the cards, when it's a major arcana, it will tell you, okay, this card is a major arcana. So Pisces, let's see what, uh, ooh, sorry about that. Let's see what your the most elements are, okay? And I've never had a reading where, now watch it happen as I say this, where a majority of it is major arcanas. Oh my gosh. Okay. The hermit, the devil. These are the two major arcanas. All right. And I can't remember what I just said about this card. Um, coming together is considered a cups. So let's do cups first. So cups one. That's it. There's only one cup. Okay. So the coins is one, two, three, four. There's four coins. How many staves? One, two. How many swords? One. So it's a lot of earth energy water. So maybe, you know, as a water sign Pisces, work with an earth sign. Maybe, um, and it doesn't have to just be an earth sign. It could just be you nurturing someone else you know, volunteering somewhere, an animal shelter, um, something animal rescue, like something where you feel, if you don't like animals, then something else where you feel, you know, I don't know who doesn't like animals, but who, you know, whatever it is, hey, you know, volunteering somewhere and, um, and give of yourself. That's always healing, right? You know, fill yourself first, of course, but a lot of times, you know, people work, operate differently. People heal differently. Sometimes by helping someone else, it helps, heals us too, right? So, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Have a beautiful August. Peace, peace, peace. Love, love, love. Light, light, light. Thank you guys. See you next time.